Hey there, this is Sean Falcon with Skyflow. If this is your first introduction to Skyflow, Skyflow is a data privacy vault delivered as an API. With our APIs, you can solve for privacy, security, compliance, data residency, and use sensitive customer PII, all without breaking privacy. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Skyflow Connections, our feature for building or using pre-built third-party integrations with which you need to share customer data. We're going to use Skyflow Connections to securely pass credit card data to Stripe, all without any of that data ever touching your system. If you want to follow along, you're going to need a Stripe test account. And once you've taken care of that, go ahead and log into Skyflow Studio and make sure you have a Quick Start Vault available, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. To start, make sure you're logged into Skyflow Studio, then click Browse on your Quick Start Vault. The Quick Start Vault has a table for storing credit cards. We're going to add a new credit card to the table and get tokens associated with the new record. Before we do that, we need a couple of pieces of data in order to make the API call. Click on the gear icon and open the vault details view. Copy the vault URL and the vault ID. We'll need those for the insert API call. I typically just paste these into a temporary document until I need them. Next, if you're in the trial environment, generate an API token from the menu under your initials logo in the top right corner and copy it. We'll also need this for the insert record call. Next, we're going to head on over to our documentation at docs.skyflow.com. Click on the connections menu on the left, then guides and then stripe. Scroll down the page to the vault sample data setup and copy the curl command. Before running this command, replace the vault URL, vault ID, and off air token placeholders with the values that you copied earlier. Once you have the command ready, open a terminal view and paste the command into the view. After you hit enter and the command completes execution of the request, a JSON payload with tokens for the expiry date, expiry year, and card number are returned. Copy these values into a temporary location to use later in the connections API call. Go ahead and jump back over to Skyflow Studio. Now that we have a sample record to use, we can next create the connection to Stripe. We're going to use the studio to do this, but you could also do this through our APIs. From the Data Vault view in Skyflow Studio, click on the gear icon at the top and then go to Edit Settings. Click the Connections option and then click Create Connection. A modal opens showing the different connection options. You can create a connection from scratch to pass data from your vault to any third-party API. But for Stripe, we have a built-in connection available. So go ahead and click on Stripe. Next, click on the route for creating a payment method. Skyflow supports two types of connections, outbound and inbound. An outbound connection sits between your backend and a third-party service provider, in this case, Stripe. An inbound connection typically sits between your front-end and back-end servers. It's used to automatically tokenize sensitive data so that it isn't sent to downstream services. Go ahead and click Continue. The path value corresponds to the API endpoint that the connection is going to call. Since this is a built-in connection, everything's already pre-configured. The request body corresponds to the data that needs to be detokenized prior to calling Stripe's API. The three fields here will map to the tokens we copied earlier when we inserted the test record. When we make the connections API call, these tokens will be automatically detokenized and the original values will be securely passed to Stripe. The response section is where you can configure which fields sent from Stripe will be tokenized and put into a Skyflow column prior to passing the response back to your servers. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to remove the response body. Since everything is already pre-configured, we can click Continue and then click Create Connection. After the connection is created, we need to create a service account that can be used for API calls to the Connections API. Service accounts are required to programmatically call the Skyflow APIs. They are the identity of the service making the API call. Enter a name like Stripe Connection Service Account and then click on Finish. This will download a credentials.json file to your computer. Once the connection is created, you will see it in the connections list. You can expand the connection to see the route you created. And if you click on sample request, you can see the unique path for the route. We'll use this path to make the connections API call. Before we can call the connections API, we need to exchange the key we just downloaded for an off bearer token. If you head back to our documentation and then click getting started, then API authentication, Scroll down and make sure you click the tab for production vault. Under this tab, in the Get Authenticated section, there's a link to a Python script. Click that link and you will be taken to our GitHub page for the script called Get Bear Token. 
Copy this file locally and open it in an editor. Scroll down to line 45 and change the file location to the file you just downloaded. In your terminal, execute the script and a JSON response with an access token will be printed. Copy the access token for later. This is the auth bearer token you'll need for making API calls using the Stripe connection service account that you created earlier. Auth bearer tokens expire after 60 minutes, so you'll need to keep this token fresh in order to continue to make API calls beyond that time. In an actual integration, you'd most likely use our SDKs, which automatically do this work for you. We need one last thing before we can make the connections API call. We also need our Stripe credentials. From the Stripe dashboard, copy your secret key and then base64 encode it and copy the base64 encoded key to a temporary file to be used later in the connections API call. Go back to the Skyflow documentation to the Stripe connections guide and scroll down to the invoking connection section. Copy the curl example for invoking the connection, replacing the placeholders for vault URL, connection ID, bearer token, the base64 encoded Stripe key, and the tokens for card number, expiration month, and year. Once you have the command ready, paste it into your terminal. I'm going to add pipe json underscore pp so that the response is formatted nicely. Go ahead and hit enter to execute the API call. After the call is made, you should see a response similar to what's on my screen. This is the JSON response from Stripe. So congratulations, you've successfully created a new payment method in Stripe through the Skyflow Connections API. Since we didn't tell Skyflow what to do with the response values, this is a direct pass through from Stripe. Thanks so much for watching this quick introduction to the Skyflow Connections APIs. With the Connections APIs, you can securely pass sensitive customer data to third parties, all without any of that data ever touching your infrastructure. You can learn more about the Connections APIs and our other features in our developer documentation at docs.skyflow.com.